Hi, Dr. Daniel Hockenberry here at Reed Physical Therapy. Um, so today I'm gonna be going through um, something that uh, is related to the neck and the jaw. Um, not today, it's not really a frequently asked question, but more um, how these two things are in conjuncture. So why we actually see um, neck pain and jaw pain. Um, so one of the biggest things I'd like to point out kind of to start um, is that they, we do kind of see these two things often together. Um, or jaw pain and then neck pain, neck pain and then jaw pain. Um, one of the biggest reasons for that, or there's a couple, but one of the biggest ones is that most of the time the, the patient is positioned rather forward like this. Or um, they may have started a new job, they may have started something else in their life that it actually, um, you know, mothers who have a newborn, they often have their head down. So things like that actually uh, can change the position of the neck or if they've been sustaining that posture for long periods of time. So the biggest reason that these two things can kind of come together is that especially if neck pain is kind of that initial factor, um, it's often due to the head being positioned forward. Now, what we know here is that um, with jaw pains as well, what actually happens is if that head is being pushed forward, it actually applies a, a stress that the jaw is also being pushed forward. Um, so it actually leads to the jaw not opening up properly with the amount of, of glide and then down. Um, and actually the socket itself up here, kind of the condyle over on this side or that surface that will interact with the head and the jaw, um, it actually will jam up there, leading to um, a little more increase in pain, but also the positioning of the jaw and the way it opens um, will actually put more stress here on the jaw, even if the neck is in this position. So often these two things are kind of, uh, kind of hand in hand whenever we tend to see that, that the actual neck can cause the jaw pain, but the jaw pain as well can cause the neck pain because we'll actually be starting then to compensate with our neck position in order to decrease the strain on our jaw. Um, so that's why we actually tend to see both things happen at the same time. Uh, often if you're my patient, you'll, have, you'll hear me ask, do you get jaw pain or do you get neck pain, depending on what you, come at, you present with. Um, so that's kind of the reason that we tend to see those two things together.